Hey, what's going on guys? Chris back with you with another unboxing and review video. And right here in front of me is gonna be the Hemivision. And if you're not familiar with Hemivision, I've actually reviewed plenty of their security camera systems already. I will have those linked below just as this product as well. And then at the end of the video, I will have one of those cards that shows up. You guys can check out their other products. This is an HD smart Wi-Fi camera. The model is HM202A. And what's really cool about this, this is a motorized camera to be able to swing up, pan, all of that fun stuff. We're gonna get into all that in this video, don't you worry. Let me run a couple specs by you guys real quickly before we do get it out of the box. There is a micro SD storage slot on this camera up to a 128 gig micro SD card. It's not included with this one, but it takes up to 128. Those are getting very, very cheap these days. You could probably pick one up for 20, 30 bucks, my guess, some more ballpark right around there. I will have that linked below as well with this product. You guys in the UK, if they sell it in the UK, I will have you guys linked as well. Look for your links right in the description box below. So the pan is 355 degrees. That's almost full 360, only five degrees less than full 360. The tilt is 95 degree tilt. So tilt 95 degrees and pan 355 degrees. Digital zoom is 4X. Night vision distance IR is 15 meters, which is very far. According to my Amazon device, it's 49.2 feet. The lens is a 3.6 millimeter, 110 degree angle. So whatever direction you are pointing, it's gonna do 110 degree angle. But of course you can use the app, which will show you all this of course, and you can spin the camera around, pan and tilt it. You're running off of a DC five volt, 1.5 amp. Right here on the side is the QR code for downloading it for Droid or iPhone. There is intelligent tracking available and of course two way audio, which is awesome. So these come in really handy for nanny cams, for nursery cameras, for your babies, for pet cameras, indoor cameras, security cameras. We're gonna get into all the features, don't you worry about that. Let's go ahead and get it out of the box and see what we got. All right, the time has come, my friends. Let's get this guy on out. In the box here, we have ourselves our little welcome card and our manual here. How to set that up, again, download the app. How to connect it, all that good stuff there. Let's go ahead and get this guy on out. And what's so cool about this is how small it is. We also have, of course, our mounting hardware, our power cable, but so let's go ahead and get that out of the way first, the boring stuff, and then we'll get to, of course, the meat and potatoes, the camera. So you do have a small ethernet direct port if you wanna hook that up to your router or mesh Wi-Fi system and plug it in directly for a wired connection. You also have a reset tool and a bracket and nut. You also have your drywall screws and anchors. They give you a wall adapter as well with USB on that side. And then of course the mount here. Let's get a breakdown for you guys just in case you are curious. The ethernet cable is gonna be approximately, my guess is, a foot to 18 inches long, but this you might be a little bit more interested in. This is USB to micro USB power cable. And that's gonna be a guesstimation about a six foot tip to tip cable. That should give you plenty of room. If not, you can always purchase a, an extension cord. So that would plug right into the back of the camera here and your direct ethernet port connection for an ethernet cable. Again, if you do not wanna go Wi-Fi connection, if you wanna go a hard line into your modem cable router or Wi-Fi mesh system, this is gonna be your quickest option to see what's happening in your home. But Wi-Fi, we will be testing that. This again, is is DC five volt. You do have some nice soft pads here if you wanna go that route, just setting the camera up on a ledge or bookshelf. Or the other option, let's go ahead and remove that real quickly here. Or of course the other option is mounting it up on here. There would be your bracket mount where your screws go in there. This does tighten and loosen here, so you can adjust that to any level. And then of course this does spin around as well. You can tighten that in the appropriate manner. So you can have that mounted like this, let's say, like this, however you guys want it there. Having this flat, again, you can flip that all the way around and this would arc up and down. And then you just tighten that up to go ahead and like, let's say if you wanted it like this, you wanted to mount it like this with a little bit more of an angle to it. I'll let you guys play around with that. Now let's go ahead and look at the camera a little bit more closely. You have your speaker for two-way audio here. This is where they would hear what is happening if you're speaking over the app. So if you spoke over the app, they would hear you through this speaker. On the top, you have your reset pin here and your micro SD card slot here. Again, up to a 128 gigabyte 
micro SD card. On the front here, you have your microphone. That's where you would hear them through your phone. And you have the camera here with your sensor here. And of course it does have night vision and we're gonna be testing all that. Little Hemivision logo. And then of course, I don't wanna be messing up the motor, but it spins all the way around. We will of course be getting shots of that. But besides that, that is the camera. Nice and small there, literally fitting in the palm of my hand. So that's awesome to be able to have that on a bookshelf or mounted in a room. The camera only supports 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi, so just make sure your settings are on 2.4 gigahertz, which most cable modem routers are already on that setting by default. All right, guys, let's go ahead and take a look at the app here now. What we are looking at is the kind of the last image it does capture. Sometimes this, I've been playing around with the app, and this is the last thing that it's captured as I exit out of the app and then back in. So we're just looking at my camera here. I have named it Living Room. Let's go ahead and click on it, and let's go ahead and take a look. Now, we are live right here with you. Uh, down below here, we're gonna see HD quality. You can flip that back and forth from standard to high definition. If your internet is lagging a little bit, you might wanna go down to standard definition, but I've had no trouble with HD quality. As you can see, my feet right here, I'm kinda of moving my feet around. We're actually gonna be testing this right now. So I'm literally screen capturing as the camera is right over here. So let's go ahead and do one, two, three hand up, one, two, three hand down. That is like almost no lag time. One, two, three hand up, one, two, three hand down. Wow, okay, I not even a quarter of a second. That is very non-lagging right there, that's awesome. Okay, ready? And let's see, let's go ahead and get it over here and thumbs up, thumbs down, thumbs up, thumbs down, thumbs up, up, down, up, 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 up. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, let's go ahead and move it a little bit here, which is awesome. I'm gonna give you a couple different daytime shots. I'm gonna give you a, obviously nighttime as well. Now it is golden hour here. It is currently 6.42 p.m. As there's still light out here coming through, kind of shining on me here, actually that's coming in through the front door here, hitting this side of my body so you guys can kind of see this. Let's go ahead and zoom on in to me here, digitally zooming, check that out, look at that, huh? All right, so let's see here, oh, no, no lag time still, hand up, hand down, my mouth is not really uh, going with the motions, maybe that's just the uh, digital uh, processing. But uh, teeth, 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 not bad. <laughs> Definitely can see that I got a, obviously a beard, a uh, black darker shirt on, red shorts, my slips on. You can see all the way out in the patio there. Looking great, as you can see up there, it says live, living room live. And then of course, let's see here. So you can swipe on the picture and it'll go back and forth, but if you want to move it, you gotta go down to the controller here. Uh, so let's go ahead and show you how far this bad boy can go around. Look at that, all the way around. Now, obviously it switched over to night vision. Reason being is this has blocked the item right in front of it has blocked the light coming in. So it thinks it's darker than it really is. So that's as far as it, now once you saw it flashing like that, that's when I'm actually pushing on the button. Uh, so it is literally looking at it all the way behind it. And now let's go ahead and just hold our finger on it, swiping all the way around this way to the speaker and the lamp. We just literally saw that lamp just a second ago. Look at how crisp that is. Uh, again, it's hitting night vision because of the sensor but once the natural light comes back in, watch, it's gonna click back off of night vision in just a second. Might take a little bit, maybe needs to focus in. There we go. Focus in on some natural light coming in. Let's go ahead and go back to the projector screen here and the couch. Look at how clear that looks and look at how wide angle. You're literally getting the painting all the way and that projector screen is a 125 inch screen. Uh, that video should be already up on my channel as well, if you are interested. Uh, and that is a gaming projector down below, short throw with my disc golf basket, my guitar. Let's go ahead and go up. Wow, okay, you're literally looking at the ceiling, coming all the way down, my fan. And let's go ahead and go down. So that's as far as it goes down there from the previous shot. So you can see the wetsuit hanging over the chair. 
You can see my projector, my other projector right here, my box right here. You can see my golf clubs behind us over here and the decorations. Printer on the ground. Obviously, you guys get the idea that, <laughs> as again, it's switching over to night vision because the light is kind of coming in a little bit like there. I do have night vision set on auto. If this is something that if you're playing around with it and that bugs you, turn night vision off until it becomes night and then turn it back on. I just have it on auto. That's why it's clicking off of night vision and going back to regular and vice versa. It's just when the sensor gets a little bit dark and I think this looks great. We'll go ahead and get some more shots, obviously, of maybe like in the middle of the day in the afternoon when there's maybe not golden hour coming in on my face. Of course, stay tuned for night vision as well. We can see the date and time in the top left corner of our screen. You also can take snapshots, so you hit that little camera button there. And it says allow Hemi Link to access photos and da da da. So you do that and a screenshot will save to your album. You can expand. If you hit the little kind of arrow button next to the screenshot one, it would actually go into landscape mode uh, for a nice larger screen. So let's say if you turned your phone sideways, you'd be able to see it landscape mode nice and large. That's that little button there. You can do, of course, sound down below. You can do sound on. And off. and off. So if you can hear a little bit of reverb, so hear a little bit of reverb in the background, I'm going to go ahead and click that off. Sometimes it kind of messes up a little bit, especially with screen capture and vice versa. But the audio does sound very nice. But I have tested both the audio and the speech, and it does sound very nice. If you do subscribe to their cloud, you can go ahead and check that right there. If you want to go ahead and bottom left, again, Cloud Event is there. Let's go ahead and take a look at some settings real briefly here. Again, you can rename it anytime you want. I have it on Pacific Time Zone, device switch, device off at, uh, device microphone on or off, alarm tone on or off, night vision I have set to automatic, image rollover 180, intelligent tracking, private share, or you can do add a family member if you want. Detection sensitivity and detection area push notification settings are all right here in the app. Receive app notifications, stop notification time, receive notification. I have uh, receive all notifications, receive summary, 10 minutes right there. Coming back to device storage, I do not have an SD card inserted quite yet, but I will get that in there and we will show you playback, of course. And motion detection, sound detection, I have it on humanoid detection. That actually picks up a human being and not just like, let's say, wind. So play around with those settings to see what works for you. The detection area right here, as you can see, you can go ahead and check those boxes. Uh, let's say pets are getting in the way or let's say your toddler or something like that. So go ahead and play around with these settings. What is more desirable for your tastes with trying not to get false notifications meaning flowers blowing around in the background, your cat running around, etc. And again, you have cloud or memory card you can play videos from. So those are some great settings there. Obviously, you can add multiple cameras. You would just go back in the main menu, hit that plus at the very top right, and you would add other cameras. Now you can see there, see how it froze right there with my hand, and that was the last image it kind of captured before it kind of checked out there. As you can see, I'm talking again, just chilling in my chair, as the golden hour sun now is coming right in on my face. Just curiosity, let's go ahead and see what that looks like here. It looks like, well, I am a little sunburned from yesterday, but not that sunburn. <laughs> so it's making my face a little bit more hue, golden obviously from the sun coming in the front door. So you get a generalization of the room dimensions. Now let me show you where the camera was. So literally spinning all the way back around by the speaker we saw here, shining all the way down the hallway here. This is where I was sitting. And it's not too far away. It makes it look a little bit more wider than it is. But let's go ahead and show you the chair and then just straight over to the camera here. So it's a nice wide angle shot. That's, of course, where I was sitting. This was the window we were looking out at. This is the area here, all the walls. Sorry, I have the light on, so the lighting is not the best right now. There's the 125-inch projector screen. And then coming around to the couch here, you didn't really see, well, you, you saw the 60-inch television on the ground there. And then the painting over here at the wall. And then coming right over would be the camera here. All right, guys, let's go ahead and look at the night vision shot here. This is the exact same spot I was sitting earlier, but now there are no lights coming in from the door and absolutely no lights are on around the house, kitchen, 
all these lamps and everything you see around this room right here, nothing is on. The only thing that is on is the screen protruding on my face a little bit. But as you can see, look at how beautiful the night vision works here. Let's go ahead and tap that around here so we can go over here to the screen, the projector screen there. And looking, I mean, you can see everything just vividly you can see my cajon down there my projector you can see the guitar i mean look at that let's go ahead and go over a little bit and we can go over it's already zoomed in which is really nice as well look at the vivid details of the guitar there i wonder if we double tap it okay it zooms all the way in and we double tap it again and it zooms all the way out that's great let's go ahead and come back to myself here and let's go ahead and lower that down a little bit there very, very nice. Seeing the whole entire room. Let's go ahead and go over. I'm just a little bit curious to see if we can shoot down the hallway there. Yep, all the way down to the space heater, way, way down there. Just picking up vivid details. Uh, very nice. Now, obviously, there is nothing. Let's say, well, actually, let's try this. Let's try to turn on the porch lights uh, outside and see what that looks like with a little bit of light uh, outside there as well. Look at that. So we're still in night vision but you can see all the way out there to my backyard, all the way to the bushes. Ah, that's gorgeous, guys. All the way to the back wall there. Looking absolutely stunning. Let's go ahead and turn that off and then zoom into my face here. I mean, <laughs> look at that. You can tell I'm wearing shorts, shirt, you know. I mean, I'm very impressed. Wow, very, very nice. Let's go ahead and, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and zoom in a little bit. Wow, that is actually very stunning. You can see I just got out of a shower from the gym. Uh, slicked back my hair a little bit, which is a little bit messy. <laughs> wow. Let's see. Let's see if you can read my shirt here. University. Uh, let's go ahead and see if I can get that on camera there. Eh, a little tricky. Oh, no. You see that a little bit? Biola University. That is really cool. Look at that. I mean, obviously, there's a little bit of ambient light coming off of my face from my phone but you can see <laughs> what's going on with my hair here looking really good guys so night vision definitely passes the test yeah oh wow oh yeah yeah I exactly exactly yeah 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 that's that's your final call um and then the other thing the other thing is obviously we do our best but um Well, folks, we actually just saw some playback, and it's actually still going here. So let's go ahead and click off of that, and just so we'll go to live mode. So I just want to show you this. Now, it depends upon your connection and internet. Sometimes the clips will come in really quickly. Also, you want to probably close out the apps running in the background. That immediately took care of the lag time. And lag time... I mean that sometimes it renders out. So now we're in a live mode right here, and we do have the 60-inch television kind of a little bit more that way. Uh, controlling the camera is so smooth and fast. I'm very impressed with that. Uh, but let's go ahead and go back here. So in the middle of your screen here, you're going to see that little arrow button next to the camera button uh, with the counterclockwise. You hit that, and then you come up to all of these blue dashes. Now you can go ahead and push your thumbs in, and all these dashes, uh, now some are not going to be uh, anybody in it. Uh, it looks like it picks up some sound or some of the lights coming on in the kitchen. But uh, what's nice as well is you can expand it to the time. See, here we are at 350. And this is what we kind of already saw. Remember, uh, we kind of saw me talking there. Great audio. Picked up the whole conversation as I was talking to my dad there on the phone. Uh, you can see outside. So something triggered it. And so some of these clips, I might come into the shot, come out of the shot. Some of the clips, it actually, see, there's me in the chair there. Yeah. Uh, and some of these clips, it almost, it's like, picks it up. Exactly, exactly. Uh, see, there's okay. a conversation again that I'm having with my dad here. Yeah. All so right. then there's your timeline right there. And then you can hit that left button. You can go to the previous day, Thursday. You can go to the different times and seconds and hours and all that stuff. And so that's really cool. That's the SD card that is recording to it. And what is nice is that you actually plays videos from memory card. The storage device here, our memory card, 
We have only 18.22% used. So go ahead and pick yourself up a large memory card. I will link that in the description box below. Uh, but what's cool is that the memory card recording here, so not recording, event recording, all day recording, which is a great feature, but you're going to need a big memory card for that one. And what's nice is that uh, after it is filled up, it would loop back around and start erasing the first recordings. So you definitely want a beefy memory card for that one. So that's a really cool feature right there in settings. Again, if you want to go with the cloud package and don't worry about a memory card, I will leave that up to you when you get the camera. Now, my events were only on the humanoid, so it's actually picking up large objects like a human. So go ahead and play again around with motion detection, sound detection, humanoid detection, detection sensitivity, and detection areas to make the app and the camera work the best for your environment. But two-way audio is great, very impressive. Let's go ahead and get out of playback and go back to the live shot. See, automatically flips over no lag time at all so definitely x out of the apps running in the background if you are getting lag time well folks a great camera overall i mean look at the night vision beautiful right there i actually really like it because of the size it's very small it is smaller than other cameras i have reviewed and it is very silent as it turns around and rotates. Again, in the description box below the video is going to be this exact same camera by Hemivision. And again, I will link the memory card as well. But just like all my unboxing and review videos, guys, please don't go into debt for anything that I do review. But if you have the cash and you're feeling frisky and it intrigues you, go ahead and purchase right away. Hit that thumbs up button on the way out of the video and subscribe. And we'll see you on the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Take care. Bye-bye. Don't let the party stop, guys. Hit one of these videos, continue to watch, and we'll see you soon.